Okay, hello and welcome, welcome to my little video about Mario Kart Home Circuit. Uh, I usually stream in this little room, and i am usually got the view you just saw there, but for Mario Kart Home Circuit we get to drive around my bedroom floor, um, roughly in a circuit that looks a little bit like this. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, this is my channel, twitch.tv slash radworld. Uh, so let's get to the game. Um, so here we are, we plugged in. You are a little car driving around a Mario Kart track. But instead of it being a fake one on your screen, it's a real Mario Kart. And I've been so excited for this game. I'm looking really f looking forward to it. So that is my real bedroom with stuff superimposed up on it. Um, so I'll just show you around a little bit. Here are some, some uh, uh, radishes just by the side on my phone there. Here's a Hogwarts bag. There's the game box. Um, and here are the arrows. I've printed out extra ones. And that's what happens if you crash. Um, so yeah, th this game is uh, pretty cool at making it seem like you're playing Mario Kart uh, on the floor. Um, as a few people I think have already said, it's kind of a little bit like you have to forget that a real car is driving around the track. Um, and you have, to, uh, you have to act as if you're playing it in a game. Because if you worry too much about what you're going to hit really... Uh, then, then perhaps you lose a little bit of the enjoyment of it. So yeah, this is the game, and um, we're going to be we're going to dr drive a couple of laps of this, and just show you a little bit what it's like and how it works. I think it's really cool. There's clearly some weaknesses to it, but it's I think it's just absolutely great fun. And uh, as soon as I saw this coming out, I was like, however good or however bad this game's going to be, I'm buying it anyway uh, because why not? Um, so what you do is uh, everything is controlled by this this point here. Basically, when you you can make your decisions when you come to this point here uh, and point at gate number one. As you can see, some of the gate number one's got stuff that is real, and some of it is drawn on. Yeah. Um, by the way, I've added a little camera so that uh, as I go through the middle bits of the track, you can see in the bottom left hand corner of the screen what it looks like really. Because the way the camera's mounted, it makes the game look like it's super fast. Um, but what it's like in real life is a little bit slower than that. Um, so yeah, it's basic Mario Kart in some ways. You choose a circuit, uh, and then you need to create your course. So you create your course by driving around, and there's this nice little animation here um, of them putting paint on your wheels. The flashing sign that's pointing left at the front of my screen, by the way, that's just a, a piece of paper with some arrows on it, and the game animates it for you. So what I learned about this is that it tends to make the traffic, the the, um, the, the courses go a bit small, so you don't really want to drive as you would for this. Uh, you want to drive kind of wider than you would in the real course. Because um, uh, otherwise it ends up building a course that uh, doesn't really come together. Now you'll see my carpet, we live in a f an apartment and when we moved in we believed that this apartment had been flooded at some stage so there are a lot of wrinkles in the carpet. This uh, doesn't cause huge problems. There's certain bits that I've had to avoid uh, where the little car can't get up and down over them. Uh, but it's not too bad for the most part. Uh, what I would say is... There you go. Can you see the, the finishing line? What, what I would say is that the flatter your floor, the more fun you will probably have with this game. Um, on the other hand, it slows you down slightly being on a floor like this, so it makes you competitive because the... the, the uh, the CPU control cars are pretty uh, easy to beat. Um, so we're just on 50cc. So again, um, we're in a mode here where we can do what we like for now until we start the game, uh, which we start by pressing that little button there. Um, so yeah, my carpet here, you can see some of these lumps and bumps. There's my feet, by the way. Uh, you can see this bump here. If I drive across that, the car gets really stuck on it. But if I just keep with this... Um, it's okay, uh, but if the pile's in the wrong direction, it does go a little bit slower. Uh, so let's start a race and see how it goes. Uh, as you see, they're all flying cars. There doesn't seem to be such a penalty for hitting them as, as in a normal game. But the way, the way the game works, it does have an impact. Uh, various things in the game have an impact. So if you get hit by a blue shell, it stops your car. If there's wind blowing, it blows across. It blows across the game. And, uh, and it, ste it steers your vehicle so it doesn't go the, s the same way as it normally would. Now on this we haven't actually got the track switched on. So this gives a little bit more flexibility to go the way that we want to. Um, uh, one thing I found is you do need quite a lot of space when you're playing this game. I, uh, I did have this as the circuit that you saw on my original screen. 
Um, but that took um, under 10 seconds to get around. I've made it this figure of eight, uh, and uh, it now takes 12 seconds minimum to get around the circuit. As you can see, I didn't hit that bullet bill there. Uh, so there are the assists do work, and if you get the track right, you can, you can use the assist to get around the track without steering, and if you get a bullet bill, uh, the bullet bill just flies around, uh, fl flies you around the course, which is pretty cool uh, without you having to steer. Um, the only problem is, is that does depend on you having drawn your track uh, quite well when you draw when you draw up the circuit. Um, uh, you'll see what I mean. I will switch it on for you after this, and we'll do a couple of uh, a couple of laps of um, of uh, of time trial. Uh, you'll see as well that the uh, the little um, signpost that we're coming past now, the little uh, start, finish, and, and the four gates that you have to run through. If you hit them and move them, that also moves your track. You kind of need to leave those in exactly the same place. Uh, so you do need a fair bit of space. We've got quite a big room. I guess it's four meters by four meters or something like that. Um, uh, like, what would that be? 12 foot by 12 foot, something like that. So it's, it's quite a big room and it makes a track like that in a figure of eight. Um, but there's cool stuff because it's nice to be able to go underneath your bed and stuff like that. Um, I tell you what, instead of doing the, the, the time trial course, we'll, we'll go on to the next race and I'll show you some of these things, uh, what we mean. Uh, so the game adds these extra filters and stuff, so this one is supposed to look much more like it's underwater than the other one. But again, it drops you into the game here, so you can have a look around the course and all the, all the, all the features of it before you need to, need to worry about it. So if we press R here, it should turn the map... Oh, I think I've... I think I think I've quit. Should turn the map on, I believe. There you go. And then you should be able to see where we're going around. Uh, I'll also put on the steering assist and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm not driving now. I'm not turning the, the uh, things. And you can see that the track goes slightly underneath the uh, where, the, where the car's supposed to be. I'm actually going to have to move the car because it's driven into that corner. Um, one thing I would say is the vehicle is very, very light, so it does happen. It does happen very easily that it gets, it gets stuck in certain places. So it's not a massive issue, uh, but obviously you, the more careful you are in how you build the circuit, the, the less of a likelihood that that's going to happen. So you probably went too far this way. It's just a little bit trial and error to get the game. The worst bit seems to be at the end of the course here. Uh, that, that button when you're drawing out the course comes along to meet you. <laughs> uh, so you quite often get the... Uh, the, I, uh, the AI cars missing the uh, corner. But you see, this bit of the circuit, I was sort of okay there without without steering. Uh, but, let's say, so so that's the, the worst thing I found. Part of it will be to do with my carpet as well, and the vehicle thinking it's travelled further than it has because the carpet's slowing it down. So I've tended to play with that switched off, and of course the assist isn't really required for most of us. Um, uh, so, so, yeah. Uh, that's that's kind of how that runs. Um, okay, so uh, as you say, you've got to face the gate head on, and then it will give you your, your options to get the race started. Um, so we will do, uh, um, I guess, a different track. I'll show off this one. It's really really hard, um, and you can see some of the features. So so the first race I did was okay. There's not other vehicles, but you do get to the points where you can hardly see, and you've got to sort a few more things out. So this is Magic Cooper Mirage, and there's a surprise at the end of the first lap. Let's go. <laughs> But most of the normal Magi, uh, Mario Kart features are, are here, so you have to unlock the uh, the various speeds by winning the cups. I've unlocked it to 150cc, and you can also unlock Mirror Mode. Perfectly timed. As you can see there, what that's done is um, reverse the image and reverse the steering. So suddenly I'm driving the other way around the course, and I think that's quite a nice feature to have included. Um, so the problem with this course, and this is the only one I've got where I've got mirror mode, is uh, and you definitely need the, the, the track on here just to show you where you're going. Um, because it's really, it really disorients you. You're very, you're very clear about the track you built yourself, and then suddenly everything's the wrong way around and it's very difficult to cope with. Obviously just running a normal track in mirror mode is, is perhaps less of an issue than that. It's particularly bad on this one, it's because we're doing it underneath the bed. <laughs> 
you basically just have to wait and work out what you do. So um, it's pretty cool though, um, and uh, and it works out really well. But uh, there's clearly some some small room for Im improvement. Um, but again, the feeling of speed. This is just 50 cc mode. Uh, is pretty good, and uh, and as I say, you can see, you can compare the speed that I'm actually travelling on this little camera as I run through here. Uh, compared to what it looks like in the game which is pretty good there are some some issues obviously i'm playing in the evening under sort of standard led lighting uh that's not super bright so um the the image is a little bit grainy you don't get quite so much of that is with the in the day and you do need to be quite close to your switch um i'm a few meters away um uh well the, the some elements of the track are a few meters away uh and it says you've got to be within five meters or 25 feet. Um, so that's much more the hardest course. And you see on 50cc, I wasn't able to win it. I'm not the world's greatest Mario Kart player. Uh, but me and uh, the Rattlings have sat here uh, all morning trying to play this game. I'll quit that um, and, uh, and, and do things like the, gosh, it is disorienting. Um, and they say this is back to what it looks like in real life. So yeah, you do get the odd frame, frame drop in places where the Wi-Fi can't get to. And, and if you want to make a course of your whole house, uh, you can obviously play it in undocked mode and follow your car around. Uh, but it's not necessarily realistic to go super far. Um, so yeah, I've only up to, unlocked as far as 150cc. And you can see that we can go a huge amount faster. But yeah, we've been... We've been <laughs> what happened there? Uh, we, we've been playing this game all morning um, and uh, we uh, had great fun just trying to beat each other's time and uh, yeah I think it's uh, really cool and it's probably everything that I hope for um, and uh, yeah I hope there's a few things that they might patch uh, I imagine See, this is really fast but compare me as I drive through on my little camera whoa <laughs> This is about as much as my little brain can cope with. So you can see see those lumps and bumps over the carpet. When we tried it on the kitchen floor, didn't quite quite the level of motion sickness you get with with the bumps that this causes. But it does give a real kind of uh, rough and ready feel to it. I say I've quite enjoyed it. I've quite enjoyed just sprinting around the the course. Um, so you can see that plastic bag there. It's quite common that a little bit of it will get stuck on top of the vehicle, and the vehicle just won't be able to move. The vehicle is slightly more robust to the movement in um in uh in 150 cc than it is in in 50 cc but it's okay so that is uh mario kart live home circuit um and that's my quick kind of uh playthrough to show you what it's like thank you very much for joining me i'm gonna be streaming it on twitch a couple of times uh there's my address twitch.tv slash radwell and I will see you soon.